Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be working on a Fuji cherry tree. It's a nursery stock and we are going to make it into a bonsai and also repot it. So stay tuned. Hey, it's me, Iqbal Khan. If you have not yet subscribed to Mick Bonsai, then click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to subscribe and receive notifications as I upload new videos. Welcome back. The tree that you are looking at is a Kojonome Fuji cherry tree imported from Japan and purchased from a local nursery. Let me tell you that Mother Nature has given me a helping hand and it knocked the tree out. So there's a small root ball. When we first repot a bonsai tree, uh, we normally remove up to and sometimes more than 50% of the roots. The tree having been blown out of the pot, we're not going to do any more root pruning. The first thing we do is put this grit at the bottom to cover up the holes. The purpose of the grit is to assist the quick drainage of water and uh, the water will not gather at the bottom. I have placed the tray onto the pot on top of the line prepared and it's basically settled in and it should be slightly lean forward. I'm now going to tighten these uh, wires and uh, firstly I will just do it by hand and then we'll do it with a plier. I'm securing the roots of the tree into the pot and the way to do it is to pull, release and turn and it is basically to tighten the wire, we pull the wire, release and take up the slack in the turn. And now I will remove the rest of this wire. Having completed the uh, task so far, I am now using chopsticks to drive the bonsai soil mix uh, into the pot and into the root ball. In this instance I didn't do a great deal of uh, root work and so very little of uh, the soil was driven into the root ball. Uh, if a lot more root work had been done then it is extremely important to drive the bonsai soil mix into the air pockets and completely fill them. If that is not done, then the roots caught in the air pocket will die as they need to be in contact with the soil. Now I will water it thoroughly. As you can see, the water is draining out fairly quickly and that's how it should be. I will be working on the tree, removing all these dead soft branches. That's how far we've got. We now have to decide on the style of the tree. The primary branches of this tree are quite thick and the secondary branches are thin and long. The tree lends itself to be made into a weeping style and that will involve a fair bit of wiring. As you saw, I have used one wire to wire two branches. The wire is first wrapped around the trunk to form an anchor and then I have used the upper wire, then I've used it on the upper branch and lower branch and in this instance wound them both in the clockwise direction at 45 degree angle. I will be bending these branches in the clockwise direction and also be twisting them to improve the uh, appearance of the secondary branches. Uh, this primary branch has two secondary branches. One is up here and one is down here and I'm now going to twist the wire so that the branches are repositioned as you've seen how quickly it has changed from up here to a level and then we'll be wiring further wires to bring these two down. I will be wiring these two branches further with smaller gauge wire and they will be sort of repositioned down here. So you can see how it's starting to take shape. 
Now I'm going to work on this branch and twist it exactly the way I did this one. This has been achieved by just one wire and wiring two branches. I have completed all the wiring of the branches and shaping of the branches, positioning them in new positions and in the process I only had to remove two very small branches. I'll give it a quick 360 so you can see it from all directions and we will finish where my front is. There we go. That's all for now. This is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London. Until the next time.